In this video, we are going to understand basics about Spring Cloud Sleuth. What is this all about and what are the different terms that it is going to have to analyze the request, right? So this is the just introduction topic, okay? So to go ahead and start. So what is this all about? Spring Cloud Sleuth implements a distributed tracing solution for Spring Cloud. So this is the definition about this. So how it does? Let's understand. So these are the different terminology that it is going to use. So what is this span? Span is the basic unit of work. It has 64 bit ID and it also have metadata to, uh, to give the information about other things like timing and all those stuffs. Trash. Trash is a set of spans forming a trash like tree like structure. So trash is going to have different spans S1, S2, S3, right? So we will understand in the demo more in more detail. Next, so this is the diagram that I have taken from the Spring Cloud Sleuth documentation directly to make to make you understand this properly. Okay, so, so this is the service one, this is the service two, three, and four. So this is the place which is generating the request. Okay, request is generated. Request is coming here from the user. You are the user and it is requesting something. Request has come. So at this point of time, it will have no span ID and no trash ID. As I explained in this about the span and trash. This is same. So when it started processing, it will get the span ID. Notice here span ID A. So when it started work, base span is the basic unit of work so when it started processing the request it got the span id okay span id a and trash id x okay so see in the in subsequent steps how it is going to change request further travel to the second uh, second service it is going there so when it is going when it is leaving the first service Trash ID is same, but span ID changed to B because it is going to take care of the different task. Okay, different service. It is going to perform a new task. Here, trash ID is X and span ID is B, but the here event is changed. Server receive. It was the client sent and it is service re server receive. It process does something and it is further going to trouble. Right. So it is. It has. Trash ID X and span ID C. So inside the service 2, there are two tasks that it is going to perform. First, first it has span ID B, and for second task, it has span ID C. It finished that task and forwarded the request next. Now it is going to service 3. It that is why span ID changed because new work is coming. Trash ID is still same because it is the same request that is troubling. Okay, so it is received here. Trash ID is same and span ID is D same. And here trash ID acts easy because it is going to perform some action individually. It is for the one task. And trash ID is X and trash ID is same. Now it is coming back. It is it has perform it has generated the response and going back to the request. So it is going back. Trash ID is same X and span ID is same because it is in the same task. It has come to the second first task that it was performing inside the service tree. Trash ID same span ID it has got back the same span ID that it was performing. Okay, and the response has come to service two. Again, it when it has got to uh, got here. Uh, sorry, before coming to service two, it is going. This request is coming here. When span ID is E, it is further sending the request to service four. Okay, so it has got the span ID F. Okay, and it has two tasks. For the first task, it has a span ID F and for the second task, it has a span ID at G. Now it is going back here, right? So the same span IDs when uh, giving back the response, it is getting span ID F, span ID Z and trace ID is same. The response has come to service 2 and it is going back here. So it has got again span ID as B, which was the initially and trash id is same throughout the request right so and it is coming here back and it is coming here back so it has got and it is the final response that user is getting and now we have got the span id a and trash id x so this is the single request detail that we have seen throughout conclusion we are uh, deriving from this so when span id b is here so it has got down some time and when it has trouble to the other network and coming back and again span id has come here so 
when it is received it can it has noted here the start time and here is the end time so it has start time and end time it can calculate how much time it took from traveling from here to and coming back here so timing information this way it can get and the, is this is the trash id and using the trash id we can uh, we can have all the tracking of a single request uh, in the network uh, where it goes and from where it is coming so this is the detail about this uh, address span id and trash id and this is the individual events client sent server received and all this this is the clip from the previous diagram so you can see span id is a b c here the detail is about the spans only so the different systems that they were involved with and here is the detail about the parent id where request is originated parent id is null and in subsequent request it is getting the parent id of the previous span id see this parent id is the previous one span id and this is the parent id b which is the span id of previous one right so see this is the tree like structure that is that it is forming so the number of services that are in your uh, throughout the application it is going to form the tree like structure for that because it is connected here right parent id b c it has the same parent and it, span id f it has the same parent f this c and this is the parent id f span id of previous one parent id d which is the span id of the previous task right so this way we can form the tree like structure timing information and all that stuff next see how it is going to have in our demo application that we are going to see so here doctor portal application it will generate the span id and trash id right and it will trouble to doctor service and will go here and this response will get get back to here right so, and this portal service and here 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 and will response will come back here and from here 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 it will go here and then will come back here and if need comes we will uh, try to contact the disease service patient service so this diagram will go like this 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 and this come back okay so we will see different permutation combination in the demo part okay and so this is the theory and the basic terminology is about the span and uh, trash that it has so it is it will be better to understand when we are seeing that practical uh, practical part okay so i'll see in the next video with the practical uh, with the demo one okay so till then take care bye bye